Hello everyone, welcome to Rice Capital video tutorial. Today we will talk about one of our free for lifetime indicator, zone drawing indicator. This is a free version of our premium indicator, multi time frame zone drawing indicator, which comes with many extra features. This free indicator is a very useful but very important indicator for your trading and investment decision. Many of the traders use support or resistance or supply demand or any other zones for their trading decisions. So this free indicator helps you to, to draw that on your chart. But the most important part of this free indicator is if you draw a zone on different time frame chart and if you come and change the chart into different other time frame, still you can see the zones drawn on other time frames. So this is a 15 minute British pound US dollar chart. So if you want to draw a red zone, you just click on this red zone button once and then you can click one more time here. You don't have to keep pressing the button. Just click once, then draw the zone anywhere you want, then click again, that will draw the zone. And if you want to draw a green zone anywhere you want, then you need to click on that button, green zone, and then you need to click once and then drag the zone wherever and how you want it and then click once more and that will stop drawing and if you want to change the size of any of these zones you can just click on the left top or bottom corner of these rectangles and then you can move your mouse and that should basically work absolutely fine and then you click again and that will stop the editing now you need to remember every time you just click once you don't have to keep pressing if you keep pressing your mouse button then it will show error and if you want to move the zones basically if you don't want to resize it but you just want to move it to somewhere else you just click left click on the zone and you can move it around and wherever you are happy you just click once more and that's it and if you want to remove any of these zones you just left click on the zone and then right click on it that should give you the options to delete left click on delete and that will remove the zone from the chart so now then if you want to draw again you can draw the red zone uh, like this if you want you can draw multiple reds on the same time frame chart there is no problem with it you just go and you can draw multiple zones on the same time frame chart now so far i have drawn a red zone and a green zone on a 15 minutes chart now if i go to other time frame which is 60 minute and i will try to draw a red zone and a green zone you need to remember zones drawn on a higher time frame will show on a lower time frame chart but a zone drawn on a lower time frame will not show on a higher time frame chart let me quickly explain it. So this is a 60 minute time frame chart. You cannot see that 15 minute zones drawn. Let me draw a green zone again. There we go. But if I go back to 15 minutes chart, it will show both the 15 minutes zones and the 60 minute zones. So let me quickly show you. There we go. So this is basically the 15 minute um, time frame zones drawn previously. And this one, if you try to delete, if you try to move it, it's not going to work because this zone was drawn on a 60 minute chart. So being on a single time frame chart, you will be able to see other time frame zones. That will be really, really helpful if you want to have a look at the overall market view at the same time being in a lower time frame. Another functionality of this uh, indicator is actually when the price touches any of these um, zones, it will change the color. So if you run this indicator and if the price touches any of these zones uh, and if you come back in, if you see that the color has been changed. So that means you understand at some point these zones were touched by the market price. Now, having said that if the price touches but if it goes through that zone then it will still keep the different color but it will stop plotting 
So let me quickly give you an example that will make more sense. Let me just bring it here. And let's play. And that will give you a better idea what I'm talking about. There we go. The price has touched the 60 minute time frame zones, which was drawn in a 60 minute time frame chart. Um, but still, we can see on a lower time frame chart. So, even you don't have to go back to 60 minute chart to know basically if the price touched that zone. You can always see that here. This one was drawn on a 15 minute chart. So, it, this one wasn't touched. So as soon as you know the price touches any of these zones, it will change the color. And let's see. And also, um, let me mention. So you don't these rectangles, these zones basically keep floating on the right side. So that way you can basically just draw once. So uh, it will keep drawing on the right margin until that is changed. So as you can see. The price gone through that 60 minute zone so I will show you in a second what happened to that because when the price will go through other time frame higher time frame zones then it will stop plotting on a lower time frame chart but if you go back to 60 minute you'll be able to see that it has stopped plotting now there we go so you can see that we didn't have to come to the 60 minute chart to basically know what happened so as soon as the price has gone through that green zone drawn previously and then it will stop plotting because it has broken the other side of the zone so let's go back to 15 minutes right so we are back into 15 minutes GBP USD chart so let's play There we go. The price has touched this zone, so it has changed the color of this zone, but it will keep floating this zone because it hasn't broken yet. So that means the price has not gone through uh, the other side of this zone. So it will keep floating, and let's see how it goes. Still is floating. It will keep floating and it will stop plotting when the price if the price goes through the other side of the zone and it will happen the same for the red zone or any other zones as well so we know if the price has touched any of the zones then we know basically there we go so the price so the price has gone through that zone area so now this red zone is still plotting but the green zone is now um, stopped there so then we know basically that that zone is broken that is basically the main idea of this indicator now having said that you need to remember this indicator works perfectly well on a 15 minute, 60 minute, 4 hourly, daily, weekly, monthly and quarterly candlestick charts. So if you try to use it in different time frames or different chart type, it will not work, it will show error. So you need to be very mindful about this condition. Now you can go to any other chart time frame, uh, let's go to 4 hourly. And if you draw a green zone for example here and a red zone for example here and if you go back to 15 minutes and you can see now the 240 which is for our lead zones are drawn here so you don't have to keep flipping between different time frames from here just being on a lower time frame any time frame you can see basically what's going on on the other time frame charts as well now having said that if this is just only one instrument which is British pound US dollar so if you want to use this indicator onto different charts on the same window 
you don't have to keep both the charts open it will work absolutely fine so for example let me just draw a zone there and a green zone here let's draw another one in for example 60 minute red zone there maybe a green zone here and let's go back to 15 minutes so now i'm going to play on british pound us dollar and i have got a couple of zones drawn there uh, i want to test basically that if it works here is it going to work there even though this chart is not going to remain open so let's click and play i'm going to speed up a little bit for this demonstration this is actually the uh, four hourly zone Right, so on British pound US dollar, you can see the price has touched uh, the four hourly zone, so it has changed the color. Let me go back and check Euro USD. Yes, it basically stopped that uh, 15 minute zone there, and it also touched the 60 minute. It hasn't gone past, so still it will keep plotting with this color. So it works absolutely fine, even if you use it in different. Uh, charts on the same window on, on different tabs so let's go back to British pound and US dollar let me now quickly show you the settings of this indicator this indicator has got very simple settings so for red zone you can select red and for green zone green is by default if you want if you don't like red and green you can always change the color into different one uh, there is opacity for the red zone and the green zone drawn on uh, the time frame which you are on. Um, there is basically um, other options for used red zone. So if you remember when the price touches any of the green or red zone, it changes into different color. So this, um, this option is for those so for used red zone and for used green zone. You can, if you want, you can change the color into different one and I recommend to keep the rest of the settings as default and that's it for the settings and also you need to remember when you draw a red zone you should draw it above the current market price like this and you need to when you draw a green zone you need to draw the green zone below the current market price because if you don't then it will basically show error let me show you for an example let's delete them quickly and if you're not basically drawing the green zone below the market price or the vice versa for red zone then it will not work so if i draw a green zone above the market price as soon as i finish plotting it it's gone basically it will stop because that's the way in this indicator works the so one thing i want to remind you before i finish this tutorial so if you use this indicator other than 15 minute hourly four hourly daily weekly monthly and quarterly candlestick chart you may see the zones but it will not work properly and if you have any question or suggestion regarding this free for lifetime zone drawing indicator feel free to contact us through our website and I hope this indicator will help you to make better decisions for your trading and investment. Goodbye for now.